caffeine. Is it good? Is it bad? How does it affect your heart? Probably the best thing to drink is an herbal, tea, caffeine, and of course water is even better. But what is caffeine? Well, what does it do to us? It's a stimulant and it affects us differently. It really doesn't affect our heart much in terms of causing bad things, but it can speed our heart rate up sometimes. Some people get caffeine in their system and they get some irregular heartbeats, and then we just tell them just to cut back on the caffeine. The other part is that some of us metabolize caffeine quickly, some slowly. How do you know? Well, you can get some, one of these genetic tests, they can tell you, or just notice a few things. If you drink caffeine later in the afternoon or night, and you stay up till three in the morning, you're probably a slow metabolizer. If you can drink caffeine at supper time or after, and you can go right to bed, you're probably a pretty rapid metabolizer. Also, how do you know if you're drinking too much caffeine? Well, if you go somewhere and you have to get off the coffee and the caffeine and you start getting a headache, your body's telling you something. It's telling you you're probably drinking too much coffee and caffeine. But we all tend to drink a little more at times, especially when we want to stay up. Does it really help you wake up? Does it help you stay up at night? Well, you know, the studies have shown that getting up in the morning, hot water with some lemon in it, or even just hot water, is just as good at waking you up. But if you do want to stay up at night, finish a paper, do a study, something like that, then it probably does help you uh, stay awake at night. So the bottom line is uh, caffeine can affect some of us differently than others. Uh, it's probably overall in moderate amounts, you know, a couple of cups a day is okay to do. But if you start to have symptoms from it, palpitations, irregular heartbeats, fast heartbeats, or you get headaches when you get away from it, just rethink how much you're drinking. Well, I'm Dr. Steve Kopetsky, a preventive cardiologist at Mayo Clinic. And after surviving two bouts of cancer, I tried to find out what types of behaviors people could adopt to avoid disease, avoid illness, and live a long life. To learn more about this topic and so much more, check out my book, Live Younger Longer, written by me, Dr. Stephen Kapetsky. You can find the book at mcpress.mayoclinic.org or wherever you buy books. Thanks for listening. See you next time.